So here we have Orient's number 22, Lawrence Vigru. Lawrence, fantastic clean sheet, but first and foremost, uh, a great three points today. Yeah, of course. I think um, the boys did really well, uh, especially defensively in the second half. They come on strong. And uh, yeah, we just saw the, we saw the game out and... You know, I think uh, I think we deserve the three points in the end, in, in, considering the way we defended in the second half. Mm, and we saw your save on the screen just there a second ago, but as well as that, there was a couple of really impressive blocks. You had to work hard for that clean sheet. Yeah, of course. I think, uh, like like we always talk about in the changing room, um, you know, for for a, goal, a clean sheet, the goalkeepers get applauded. But I think it's a team effort. You know, um, you need everyone to defend really well. And I think we saw some blocks from both uh, Haps. Uh, you know, and and obviously then I make the save as well. I think. Uh, you know, if I can help the team out as much as I can, that's something that I want to do. So, um, you know, I, I think we all need each other and I think it's, show, it's bearing fruit at the moment with, with eight of them at the moment. So mm. we're happy with that. Coming uh, off the back of a, you know, a run of, uh, of defeats to then keep two clean sheets in a row must be such a satisfying week for you personally. Yeah, of course. Uh, I think uh, satisfying for everyone at the club. I think, uh, you know, the Cambridge game was a tough one, you know, especially a, a Boxing Day game. and. You know, we go and we come in the, game, in the derby against Southend, another tough game. You know, they picked up, they were on a bit of form and, you know, we, we completely nullified them and beat them 2-0. And then today, you know, we're coming up against the High Flyers. They've, they've beaten a lot of teams. They've not lost in five. And, uh, you know, we just, we just completely dominated. I thought in the first half they had spells, but I thought we had spells. We completely matched them um, player to player. And then uh, I think the quality of DJ comes through, scores the goal, and then second half, you know, you're going to have spells where you're going to defend, and I think uh, we did that really well. Mm. And, and just looking at that back four, there's, there's obviously been a couple of changes in, in the last week or so. Youngster Tunjakinola come alongside Happy and, and Brove come back to left back. They've, how, how comfortable have you been with them in front of you? Yeah, of course, you know, I've played with Brove for years now, so um, with that, we have like a little connection where he knows when I've got the ball where to be and stuff. With Tunj, yeah, he's a young boy, but he's, he's so front foot, he's such a great front foot defender. He comes in, he wants to be, he wants to attack the, the, the striker instead of letting the ball come, on to, come into him. And uh, yeah, he's shown 1v1, you can't get past him. And I think uh, he's more than justified his, his place in the team at the moment. So, um, you know, I'm really happy, obviously, with Dan Happy as well. You know, he's just getting better and better with every game. And hopefully he can, he can continue to form for the rest of the season. Something that we talked about just before you came was your distribution. It's been absolutely unbelievable um, this season. Uh, and then there was a chance that we saw as well just before um, setting Brophy off on his run. Yeah. How satisfying is it for you as a goalkeeper? Obviously. You, you want to be making the saves, you want to be keeping yeah. the clean sheets, but when you're, you know, as a modern day keeper, to be setting off moves, if it's hitting the ball long to, to um, Connor or Lee or setting off Brophy on, on a run, how, you know, important for you is that to develop on? Yeah, of course, it's something I work on, you know, uh, you know, with Brillo every day, me, Sarge, Brillo, uh, we work on distribution, you know, on finding little areas to try and play out. Obviously, if we can do it quickly, uh, it's even better, you know, we should score, you know, there, like, I think it was, um, it was a good opportunity for um, for Brof to break down. You know, obviously, I know Brof how quick he is. You know, I don't think many people can can deal with his pace. And you know, we nearly score at the end. And that for me is what's missing. You know, I get them all them clips and put them up. <laughs> just need a goal at the end of them for someone. You, know? get, you need an assist. I need an assist. <laughs> uh, look, looking ahead now, obviously, it's been two two good three points, two clean sheets. It's another tough game away to Carlisle on Saturday. But this period feels really kind of crucial to a good second half of the season. Of course, um, we've got to go into every game confident. You know, uh, it's a long trip up there, Carlisle, but we're going to go there and, you know, we, we play the way we play. You know, we've got, we got to um, defend well first and then obviously then we take over with our attacking players and we've got that in abundance. You know, the people, likes of Jobs, Craig, Connor, Lee, anyone, Ruel, anyone on the bench that, that hasn't been playing. They've all got quality, a lot of quality. So we, what we've got to do is we've just got to go there know what their strengths are, try and nullify that and then do what we can do. And obviously, you know, if we keep playing the way we have been in the last two, I think uh, we could have a good end to the season. For sure. And I believe it's eight clean sheets for you now for the season. I'm guessing... Not that anyone's been counting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing you, you've got your eyes on the target, maybe? Uh, I haven't really set any targets, you know. I just thought that... I just, I've been saying to the boys that like, maybe 12 to 15, I think, um, is a reasonable number. You know, obviously, this is, this is a lot more than I thought we'd have now. Uh, but um, I'm really happy with it. And it's just, you know, if you don't concede, you're not going to lose. So that's, that's the bare minimum at the moment. We've got to keep doing that and hopefully we can just keep getting, DJ can keep popping up with goals at the other end and we win 1-0. Well, uh, congratulations on today's clean sheet and the much. three points. And uh, good luck for Carlisle on Saturday. And uh, Thank you. join us after this next half break.